Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how I'm um, editing this wedding dress shot today. So um, this is a gorgeous wedding dress um, that um, we just shot and I just um, photographed this in my house. So this is not um, at a wedding venue or anything. So I just wanted to show you, like I pulled it in Lightroom and I'm going to go down here to um, to transform and I pushed auto just to make sure it's um, like not slanted and then I definitely want to want to crop it so when you go into crop you want to make sure that this lock is locked so you're not messing up the dimensions or the proportions so yeah I just want to cut it off like um, right about there because there's that duct tape at the bottom of the um, the screen that that I don't like very much okay so just about right there pretty um, yeah I just let me just see what it looks like if I just crop just leave like a little open space right there not too much that's pretty because I just want my eye to go to like this line and all of these pretty colors um let's see I'm gonna go and use my preset great and then I'm going to bring down the highlights. I'm going to bring the shadows up. It's pretty. And then I'm going to go to photo, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Open anyway. So when you do that, you can um, take the image from Lightroom and it keeps the color correction and it takes it into Photoshop for you. So I know immediately that all, like all right here looks too dark for me and all down here looks orange and dark. So um, I'm gonna go to actions and I'm gonna do light in here. Make it kind of big. I just wanna make sure that's lightened. And then I don't want it to look like I'm orange or dirty there. And then I'm going to go over um, over here and create a new layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Um, so I don't really know exactly what the correct thing to, to call this is, but... Um, I'm going to put a white layer over over this to make it look a little bit more dreamy, if that makes sense. So I push on this the total white, push OK, go over here to find my paint box, and then take my paint bucket and put it right on top and see when that happens. Now you go over here and you select soft light, and then you can choose your opacity over here. So I like that like a lot more. I mean, you can go in there and erase some, which I'll do, but I think that takes away like some of the the muddiness, the orangey. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't want to lose too much detail though. So let's see. I'm gonna keep it at about. Let's see. If we go all the way down. That's the difference. And we go all the way up. Yeah, it's pretty. So I'm liking about right there. And then I'm personally going to lower that uh, uh, flatten that layer. And then I'm going to try something. I'm just going to try to um, go into the saturation. I just want to see what happens if I bring down the saturation, if it is going to affect. See, this is the part that I'm looking at right here. I'm just seeing if I can affect that. So this is like, oh, that looks like old school, not very good. So yeah, this was nothing and then this was like less saturation. Okay. So let's look at the before and after. 
after. So that's before um, we did the, um, we put the white layer over it. Um, and this is after. So we put the light, you know, we started in Lightroom and then we ended here. So um, I'll put the actual all before all after it, like before we did all the color corrections. I'll make that the thumbnail. Okay, you guys, amazing. Um, thanks for watching, and um, I'll be seeing you on the next one.